so i have not read the article i have not seen any videos on this topic i've just seen titles floating around and i'm like what what before i even start reading this article hey welcome back it's your girl Walanda. Who has a video shade room? This man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. Everybody and they don't give a Yeah. Everybody this man, this man it hit me, it w grabbed a rock and it hit me in my face because I would have given him my number. Everybody and all y'all just watch. What do you want to do? What do y'all want to do? What do y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. Hey, I want y'all to be a man. Hey, you do something. Y'all hey, 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 gonna let a man hit me in my face. Yo, this man just hit me. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? <laughs> I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you going to do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these men is watching. And nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face. And they're all just watching. And they let that get in the car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? have I ever done like don't understand like I'm just trying to take my friend out from five years ago like literally spending my whole money not bothering nobody like what the fuck kind of shit is this I'm in the parking lot just trying to buy some food and like I'm literally like why is this busted up on me like this and I'm looking at all these they literally let this do all of this they let this like really like do all of that I never thought it was gonna happen, yo. Like, it's so wild. And he's gonna get away with it. He got in the car. He got away. He never gonna get caught. He's gonna move on. He's probably at an after party right now having a good time. Do you feel good about yourself doing this to a woman? For what? Like, you know, it's been 12 hours. I'm in the hospital. I'm getting discharged. I do have a concussion, so I gotta take it slow for the week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's gonna give me that kind of grace. So, you know, I still got a mother, I still gotta teach, I still gotta work. <laughs> I really just want the best for everybody, and I don't know why people wanna kill me. I can't even chew food for the next week. <sighs> I had a vacation that I planned six months ago for my birthday I'm so afraid like I'm so afraid like why do people want to hurt me so bad I really love my community and just to know that like people hate me to this level to this kind of level of violence this happened in Houston Texas. It's crazy because when I first seen the video, it looked like it was like on the in the alley area somewhere. I don't know. It was dark, so I don't know. Like, okay, so it is on the side. I was really focusing on her her injuries and just looking at the side of the building, just by the peripherals of my uh, by the peripherals. I was thinking, okay, maybe this is, you know, in another country or something. Because she looks very, like, Ethiopian or Caribbean. So I'm thinking maybe it's in another country. Reading the title? No, it's in Houston, Texas. That's crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. First of all, baby girl, they're not only trying to hurt you. They're trying to hurt anybody who turns them away, who tells them no. Anybody who hurt their ego. Unfortunately, men has always have that essence of 
oh, I'm bigger, I'm better, I'm a man, which is totally fine. Be that man. I have no problem with you being a man. But why can't a woman say no? Why is the ego so big to where it really hurts you to where you want to hurt a female? I understand. No, I don't understand. But if the girl was being aggressive, if she if she was throwing hands, if she was beating you up, because there are definitely abusive relationships out there. First of all, it's not a relationship because they don't know each other. But there are very aggressive females out there, just like there are aggressive men out there. So let's not even act like we don't have aggressive females. No, <laughs> you're not fiending for your life. You're not trying to escape anything because a female tells you no. That's when you decide to go. And she, he bucked at her. She said, he was like, what you going to do? Why do you need a weapon in order for you to be aggressive towards a female? Why do you need a weapon? I promise you, if he had a gun, he would have shot her. Actually, let me go ahead and pull this up real quick because I know there is this happened in Atlanta when I was living there. I think this was not far from where I used to live on the east side of Atlanta, my first apartment. This female was walking down the sidewalk with her man. A car pulled up, asked her for her number. She declined, was like, yo, you serious? I'm, I'm with my dude right now. What you talking about? No. Tell me why they pulled a gun on her and shot at her multiple times. She did not pass away, but she was injured why are, when do you hear females are beating up on men to the point that the guy has to go to the hospital or the guy is on their last last lifeline you don't hear it much because mainly the guys be the one that are very aggressive and honestly i feel like if you acting like that your testosterone is low we already have a low testosterone epidemic going on when it comes to the males, if you hurt so bad to the point you have to hurt a female, someone who is smaller than you, someone who is not even trying to harm you in any way, just tells you no, um, your testosterone is low. You need to go to the doctor and get that checked because that makes no sense at all for you to physically hurt a female all because she didn't want to get with you. Why is that a thing? I want to know the age of this male. I don't even know if age even matters right now because all of y'all are sensitive for no damn reason. If you cannot act properly in public, if you cannot be reasonable with people, if you cannot handle, reject, do not step foot out of your house. Stay in the house because nobody wants you out and about throwing rocks every time somebody says no or somebody says you can't do this even if it's listen you don't even know if she probably would have circled around and be like you know what yes later on i'm pretty sure y'all in the same area y'all in the same city you i'm pretty sure you're gonna see her again if y'all out and about there's a chance if you can't even handle any rejection the smallest of the smallest rejection what are you doing out in society this is a classic case of entitlement this is a problem I have with a lot of men. They think they're entitled to females' bodies. They think they're entitled to females' time. What if you were crusty dusty? She had to get with you. I don't understand how men is so comfortable talking down on females, so comfortable hurting females when they're the same ones that need us. I'm telling you, men need females way more than female needs men. Because if you go and see the way a lot of these men living, especially bachelors, it's like, I guess you really didn't learn anything once you left your mama's house. We females have to go and clean up behind them. We females have to go and teach them things that they should have already learned but didn't. We females have to go and polish them up and make sure they're aware of others' emotions, make sure they're aware of their surroundings and their finances and everything. So I don't understand the whole movement of the hurting females. What happened to, I, I ain't want your number anyways. You ugly. You ugly anyways. What happened to that? 
Men don't do that anymore. I remember back, if a man approached you, the man would try to spit his little gang, talk to you, you know, put all his cars on the floor so he can, you know, get to you. And if you declined, he will feel hurt, most definitely. But he would be like, I don't care. I ain't want you anyways. You ugly anyways. You stink anyways. What happened to those? Type of response. When has the response turned violently? Actually, it always had turned violent. I feel like females really weren't vocal about it. And you wonder why we don't want to talk to y'all. You wonder why when y'all slip into our DMs, we leave y'all red or we ignore y'all. You wonder why if we walk in into a facility and y'all catcalling, we ignore y'all keep on walking. You wonder why if we're driving and we at the stoplight and you look over to us, try to sweet talk us, try to coerce us on the next car over, we just keep straight on and keep it pushing. Because there are people who are ruining it for all of y'all. There are men who are crazy. We don't know which one of y'all are the crazy ones. And a lot of us don't want to take that chance. Because like in this case, it could be life or death situation just for us to say no. So guess what? We'd rather not say anything at all. We'd rather keep our mouth closed. We'd rather keep it pushing. We'd rather just act like you're not there. We'd rather just ignore y'all. Because if we say yes, oh, she fast. Oh, she quick. Oh, she fast. She she hot. Oh, she she ready. She a, a modern girl. Oh, she not traditional because she said yes too quick. She's a this, she's a that. Y'all call us any type of names once we say yes. But as soon as we say no, Oh, uh, nah, that, <laughs> that that ain't the answer. Try again. Oh, you can't say no to me. What you gonna do about it? That's the type of response we get. Either from a brick being thrown, being shot at, shot at. There are a lot of people. I had a friend who came to me and was telling me a, a situation that she went through where this one dude, she does not know, approached her at a party or something and a get together, a gathering, whatever. And he just slid his tongue down her throat. And I'm like, girl, you didn't push him off. You didn't slap him. You didn't. She's like, no, because they be shooting girls out here. They really be mad, even though they're in the wrong. They really be mad and be blah, 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 blah. Unaliving girls. If they're not unaliving you, they're definitely threatening you. She was like, and his breath was stained. I couldn't do nothing. I said, did you know him? No. Met him one time the day before. So the next day, seeing him again. And I guess he got comfortable. He came in for a hug. After the hug, decided to slide his tongue down my throat. What can I tell her? Because I definitely understand the fear that she went through, knowing that I really want to push this dude up off me, but I really can't. Because if I do, things might go left just because I don't want to do this or because I'm feeling very uncomfortable. I feel like the guys that are comfortable with females feeling uncomfortable are dangerous. Those are the type of men you stay away from. If you said no multiple times to this person and this person just still like, ugh, even if you don't say no verbally, I feel like this is 2023. A man should be able to read a female's body. If you are not able to read a female's body, you should not be out here dating. You should not be out here trying to get with somebody else. Long gone the times where... I don't understand females. There are plenty of videos on YouTube. There are plenty of books to understand not only a female's body, but just human interaction. And I feel like if you do not take those time to educate yourself, to analyze the opposite sex, the opposite gender, and seeing what they're comfortable with, what they're not comfortable with, having a conversation, talking, then you are very immature and you should not be dating. You should not be approaching anybody because what he just did was hurt somebody's daughter. Now imagine 
the trauma she's going to have to go through, the aftermath of that event that she just went through. Now she's not going to be able to trust any guy, whether they're a sweetheart or not. Anyone who approaches her, she is not going to have that comfortable feeling around them. She's going to always think you're going to be here to hurt. And that's a sad reality a lot of abusive females went through or are going through because the man feels like in order for them to coexist with you, they have to feel superior than you. No, he should not be walking around. He should like, um, there should be cameras around to where they could pick him out and she, she need to press charges because this is unacceptable because he's going to keep on doing it. This is not the first time he did it. If he could so easily pick up a brick and you know how much force a man has, especially if he's angry, especially if he feels like he's been embarrassed in front of other guys because there were guys there. So what? A girl says no and keep it pushing. You know how many females outnumber men. You know how many other females are there out there? You are aware of that, right? You are aware she is not the only female. So, so what she says no. Why does she have to get hurt for it? My head hurts because it could have been me, could have been my sister, could have been my mother, could have been my grandmother. It could have been anybody. So knowing that there are guys out there whose testosterone is so low where any little rejection requires someone to pay for it. This hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts because this disrupts her entire life. She won't be able to eat properly for a while. It sounds like she says she has a child. She still has to be a mother. She still has to go to work. All to know this happened because she did not want to get with somebody, a stranger. Because of his mentality, because of his ego, because he thought, girl, you just disrespected me in front of all these guys, which is not even a disrespect. She, it's, it's a, you asked a question, you, I said no. How is that a disrespect? I don't know your mother. I don't know your father. I don't know. No, I didn't curse nobody out. I didn't touch you. I didn't ask you for anything. You came to approach me ask me and I gave you a response because it's not a response that you liked it was a problem stay away from people's daughters now you just done yourself a disservice because eventually when your face starts circulating on the web saying that you're the one who caused harm to this female what female you gonna get now at least you probably had a chance before when people didn't know you were crazy, but now people know that you're crazy and you out here hurting folks, oh, best believe the females are going to definitely stay away from you. So what did that get you? Nothing. Where did it get you? Nowhere. I feel like she should press charges and his face should be shown so females can know to stay away from this crazy person. I'm so sorry this this happened to you. I'm so sorry you had to go through this. But I'm so glad that you spoke up about it. And I'm so glad you even put the guys that were standing there on blast. And they over there looking like dummies. Like, what we, what we, what we, what we, what we, you can't say nothing. And then you're supposed to go and try to get a man like that to be the head of your household acting like that. Throwing bricks? Shooting at females? Are you crazy? Those are the type of men that we're supposed to get to lead us? Lead our children? 